actually is a very challenging concept, but interesting. So the potential of this concept is, is very high, uh, but the risks are high too. As regards the concept, it is challenging, uh, but there's an evolutionary approach to address those challenges. I think we're at a really exciting point in business aviation. It's undoubtedly going to change. The technology is there to do things differently. The uh, technology revolution, the third revolution in aerospace, I think will bring new forms of transport, urban air mobility, definitely uh, in amongst the mix in terms of things that people will be looking for, increased regionalisation, pop-up airfields, pop-up airports. I think uh, we'll, we'll still see big aeroplanes in the sky, but we're going to see lots and lots of change, particularly around the regionalisation agenda. I like the approach of having the 10%, we have already have the 10% work flying. Um, uh, the 20% model of this aeroplane is, is now flying and that is moving further down the process, de-risking the process. The next stage then we'll be looking at a larger model and clearly involving uh, professional companies involved in, in design, manufacture and certification such as Crankle Aerospace. I think we're at a very interesting period. There's a lot of really interesting projects around. I mean, uh, I'm very privileged at the university to see many of those new ideas. And I'd say there, there were a very small number of these that I think are credible and do have the possibility of, of making it through. The Starling project is one of them. It's, it's the potential to uh, change the way we think about aerospace. It's got the potential to uh, take advantage of the, the new technologies, battery technologies. It's got real potential to do what the customer wants, you know, to help get the passenger from point A to point B, not just from the airport to the airport.